Previously on Town Hall 8 Free to Play, we did a very detailed explanation of dragon funneling with three different bases. Today, I'm going to explain what I'm looking for when attacking Town Hall 9s for two stars while trophy pushing. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joe and welcome back for episode 14 of the Town Hall 8 Free to Play. So, you know, here's the thing guys. Uh, I look at the comments every single video and I review some of the questions of the day before I bring them onto the video and I want to make sure that everything's good. But I think one, there's one thing that's kind of misconception. There's a little bit of a misconception of what I'm trying to do here for you guys on YouTube. We are down at Town Hall 8 and I totally get it. A lot of you guys screen the titles of the videos and you're looking for Town Hall 8 or Town Hall 9 or Town Hall 10. And I think Shifty says it best as a matter of fact. So I read this comment earlier from Shifty. This is on the previous day's video and he says, hey Joe. Thanks for the lessons, man. I don't really use air, but I do still watch all this series because it's mostly universal knowledge. And I'm not going to read the rest of that because it, he's. It, we're going to stop right there on universal knowledge. So here's the thing. I have a Max Town Hall 12. And if you guys don't know who I am or where I come from or anything about this channel, I have nine different accounts at just about every Town Hall level. So I've got a lot of experience in this game. And up in the higher Town Hall levels, even though I practice and I play from time to time, I get really sloppy. And you tend to get really sloppy if you're playing multiple accounts. I've told a lot of my friends this, as a matter of fact. If you're playing Town Hall 12 and 9 and 8 and all these other things, then you can start getting strategies twisted and confused. And so you start getting really, really sloppy. So I chose to go backward because the channel had a lot of Town Hall 7, a lot of Town Hall 8 traffic that I wanted to address and try to help you guys out. There's a lot of other channels out there that are doing all max gameplay. But if you're looking for basics, even down here, you can take the content from here and relate it to your own Town Hall 9, your own Town Hall 10 or 11 and understanding basic funneling, uh, basic use of troops and basic everything, whether it's pushing or farming or clan war, all these things do apply at the higher Town Hall levels. But I'm going to get off of that. I'm going to step down off the podium and we're going to move into our questions of the day. So we're going to go back to this one question from Superman. Question of the day. Hey Joe, can you please explain your thought process for attacking Town Hall 9s with Town Hall 8 troops to Masters? Love the content, by the way. And we'll follow that question up with a question of the day from DDY. How do you use the golem as a Town Hall 8? When I use a golem, defenses still target my wizards. So I, I would imagine that you're probably going way outside on the wizards and the golems are pretty tight. Well, I'll try to point it out as I go along, but we got to get this uh, one clan games item knocked out. So we're going to go find a Town Hall 9 to hit. And so I'm going to talk about what I'm looking for. And when it comes to trophy pushing you know, against Town Hall 9s, this one's kind of weak, actually. You have to consider the Expos and you also have to consider funneling the Valkyries. And so in this situation here, we do have a really lightweight base. So this is probably a really poor example. And only eight levels on that queen so i need a little bit more levels on that queen because i'm running out of time on the clan games all right so each base is different as you go along and you're going to start seeing the same bases as you next through bases this one right here we could probably funnel in there pretty well but the problem with it is that the two expos are in two separate compartments so it's a little bit of a pain in the neck to get in there and deal with those as well as getting the town hall down so you got to get the percent and you have to get the town hall as well this one's not too bad because it has different uh, configuration this is actually one of my favorite bases to hit there's a reason why behind this if you look at this compartment right here down here in the south the walls are blocking off and so if i open it up properly i should be able to channel my valk straight to the core using the earthquake spells so as i zoom back out i'm going to be looking for locations where i could possibly use the minions to pick off buildings away from the archer towers so more than likely over there in the eastern and western side that is not going to be necessarily possible because we have archer tower coverage over there and we have archer tower coverage over there so let's go ahead and focus in on the south side and try to open up this compartment let me move my microphone down a little bit and we're, let's go ahead and try to separate this and open it up properly so one two and three you do not have to do this on every single base but you want to open up a small channel let me see if i can get this one correctly and send our troops directly into the base so you'll notice that we didn't open up this compartment here or this one over here so everything's going to fo focus straight to the core of the base and I really hate that select a different spell icon popping up. It's really annoying. All right, so now you're going to drop your golems and allow them to work. Now we do have a queen.
Fiend over there targeting our golem, so we're gonna need to speed this process up because we're gonna lose him and we need him alive. We definitely need him alive. So King is working on that queen. We've opened up the compartment and the wizards are gonna fan out. That's exactly what they're gonna do. And that's basically, you can't stop that from happening. But the group that's back behind our golems are still going. Let's go ahead and get our Valkyries in there. And we're gonna hold on to our max level Valkyries. That way we can try to get a little bit more percent. Now, you'll notice that we have Expos firing upon our Valkyries and they really have nowhere else to go but the core of the base. So Rage Spell down, they're gonna go into the Town Hall. Let's go ahead and drop a Heal Spell since there's a lot of firepower in there and try to preserve the life of our level one Valkyries. Now, the Valkyries did split, some went on the outsides, but they are gonna, in fact, possibly take down the Expo in the core of the base and we're at 42%. So now we need to figure out how we're going to gain the remaining percent. So let's go ahead and drop the remaining Valkyries and the Golem is going to channel up towards this side of the base. So we wanna kinda stay with the Golems and that's exactly what's gonna happen here. So let's go ahead and open up this base with the remaining group of wall breakers. Actually, that's not gonna be possible. The Valkyries are on the outside. They're gonna stay on the wall over there instead of taking down or opening up this compartment, unfortunately. But there are wizards there working with them and that's fine. We can drop the remaining wizards as well as our archers since this archer tower is tied up on that golem. But you'll notice that we're at 61%. This is a very solid two-star attack. Uh, not shabby by any means. But that on this particular base, this is by far one of my favorite base designs. And the best part about it is that everybody has this base design. It's like uh, basically like a body part or something. Everybody's got it, you know? That's one of the best things about internet bases is that so many people download these bases and use them that it makes it ent entirely too easy to memorize how you're going to hit them. And this is just one example. We're gonna get into another example from here, guys. Alrighty then, so we did get another gem box. I don't even, like, It's I can't believe it's already been that long. We've already gotten another gem box and then we're gonna gain another 25 gems to go towards our collection we're so close to getting that fifth builder it is incredibly insane and awesome so while that one pulls we're going to check our clan games clan games is finished we did finish up that event so we just gained some more points and we need to grab another one i think i like this one down here which is earn three stars against opponents with a town hall level higher than yours in multiplayer battles that's too easy we're going to go ahead and hit some town hall nines and get 400 points for that uh, and so basically the, the clan rewards we're going to probably get the gem necessary to gain our fifth builder we're at 1987 that is incredibly close so we're very close to finishing up and getting our fifth builder and moving on but since we are not quite there just yet we're going to go ahead and put down another spring trap and we're trying to finish up our traps guys so we're working on into the final uh, spring traps and we're working on one of the hidden teslas i want to kind of beef up the hidden teslas and see somebody hit this base and be surprised by that i don't, I don't know but anyway so we're getting back into hitting town hall nines that is the focus of today Day. And so we're going to next through some bases and bear with me guys I, I hope that you understand why I'm doing this that way I can point out what I'm seeing now Town Hall 10 I'm not really messing with Town Hall 10s yet. We'll worry about that once we get up in the Champions League This base right here I don't necessarily like ring bases because the Valkyries will go and follow the ring around and it's really hard to funnel these bases And it's kind of hard to select uh, even an option here. So Ring bases not a fan. I try to avoid them when I'm pushing uh, Especially with Valkyries because they will go go around the outsides of the base. This one right here, not bad. We're gonna have to pick one side. There's 33 trophy offering here. We got a queen on the edge, and you'll notice that the expos are split into two separate compartments, but we can open up one compartment and try to send our troops through one side of the base and get up into the town hall. And so that's gonna be our intent. Let's just go ahead and hit this one. I like this one, so that way we're not holding you up. So notice that there are uh, builder's huts on the outside. That is free percent, so make sure that you take advantage of that. Use the archers to grab that. And then also look for locations where there's gaps in the base where, you know, coverage from archer towers that you can use the minions. And this comes from experience, guys. This isn't necessarily anything that you can check out in global because the base is, you know, you can't select defenses and scout bases. So you got to understand the ranges and that just comes with experience of gameplay. All right, so we've dropped what we, I think we can possibly drop one, one right there. Yeah, we can. And we can possibly, no, there's an archer tower there. And okay, so yeah. All right, so let's talk about some goal placements. So goal placement, let's go ahead and open up the base here in the core. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just drop all of them and open it all up, which is probably not a good idea at all, but okay, that's not bad. We can work with that. So 
funneling troops using the golems you got a queen right here that's a bad idea don't place a golem so entirely close to them so let's drop a golem down here in the south and we're going to drop a golem right here to tie up and catch the fire from our archer towers and cannon we don't have the king we didn't wait for him to come back up that's my fault on that one so we're just going to try to avoid that queen's location for right now and let's drop a wizard right there to work on that building and the queen is going to probably distract so let's drop some valkyries there to deal with that queen a little bit and we'll drop our max level valkyries down here all right so the queen is down and we got valkyries working on a wall let's go ahead and do that and our drop the remaining group of valkyries all right so let's get a rage spell down in this location for our valks to beef them up get them through this trap location as well as the town hall and they're going to be targeted by both the expo as well as point defenses so max level valkyries are going to take the town hall down and we're going to follow our valkyries around through this location let's drop a hog rider right here and let's go ahead and help him out with a wizard or two let's use some wizards up here and archers to pick off some more percent but you notice funneling you got to pay attention to that queen you saw how i dealt with her uh you cannot drop a golem there she will destroy a golem quickly i mean obviously dependent on her level but a golem doesn't survive very long and you need the golem inside the base not dying on the wall so you'll notice that we were able to pick off quite a bit of percent and i think we lost our final golemite the archer here is going to pick off a little bit more percent but we're going to go ahead and move on and take a look at some replays as more examples let's go ahead and finish up this video on this final replay and this base looks very similar to the other base that we just looked at uh, unfortunately as you progress up through crystal league moving towards masters league you're going to notice that a lot of these bases look exactly the same with minor details that are changed between them and so you'll notice with this one and i'll tell you what i'm going to do a few months ago i did a trophy push on my max town hall 8 little joe i took it all the way up to champions league using the same exact army and i will link another video right here in order for you to check that out we we put in some heavy work making it all the way to champions league but this base here i'm looking for percent to start us out we're going to pick off these builders huts by using the archers on the outer perimeters you're going to notice that there's going to be a minion dropped up there on the laboratory as well as the two uh, elixir pumps and the reason behind this is because the archer towers are set back and there's no coverage there so we can use our minions safely also you'll notice that there's archers on the builders huts around the base and then we also dropped our archers down here because this archer tower is set in fast mode and so the range on it is very short all right so we're going to drop our earthquake spells to open up the core of this base and basically channel so we use the three in one technique to open up the base in this location and so what you really want to do is try to keep your valkyries together you don't want them all straying out across the base you want them focused towards the town hall and when they're focused they cut through walls faster and they will take down queens faster they'll take down kings faster and so when you do this with this funneling tactic with three and one three earthquake spells on one side overlap with the one on the opposite side basically you can open up a small path directly to the core of the base and open it up directly for all valkyries to go into the base so now we're going to drop our golems to start setting up the funnel and so we'll use the golems and the king the king is basically pulling the fire from this archer tower as well as this cannon this golem is pulling the fire from the mortar and this golem over here is pulling the fire from the cannon the archer tower and the wizard tower and so that's going to basically open it up for us to drop our wall breakers in between them after the wizards are dropped so the wizards have a nice wide spread to take down multiple buildings to funnel our valkyries in and then the scout wall breaker as well as the remaining wall breakers to open up the base and this is going to set it up perfectly for our valkyries to go inside the base and so the valks are going to go in we're going to hold on to the rage spell for the core of the base we need them boosted up and powerful in the core against the expos as well as the queen i dropped the heal spell first to kind of keep them up to health since they were being targeted by the expos and then we dropped the rage in the core now you'll notice that they're going to whirlwind around this base whirlwind around the base and take take down the queen king and multiple different defenses in the core and then they're going to cut through walls so when they're grouped up together they do very well they cut through walls and they will continue to progress throughout this base taking down multiple buildings multiple buildings and you'll also notice that i dropped a wizard over on the 
far right side of your screen in order to assist with taking down additional uh, defenses or buildings in order to get remaining percent this attack is going to probably top out about 60 something percent if i'm not if i remember correctly but regardless that that is a good example of how to take down a base with the expo still alive obviously if the expos are down that is perfect this is the army again and that's going to wrap us up for today guys hopefully this helps you out i, I really do um and if you have any other questions drop them down in the comments below if you enjoyed the content today smash that like button subscribe if you haven't done so already and we'll see you in the next one guys take care